cleanly but she doesn't think on the court and she needs to think she needs to realize when to step back from the baseline on the return of serve with someone like Navratilova serve she's, she's got to give herself a little bit of time to hit it so that she just makes sure that she gets it down at her feet I mean the amount of returns she's missed with Navratilova serving at 80 miles an hour it, you know you, you just can't do that sort of thing you wouldn't get any of the top girls doing it um, so you know that's just where I feel that Kornikova needs to really focus on her game if you've got the Williams sisters out here right now against Sanchez Vicario and Navratilova I mean they would just be crushing the ball back and getting it low and moving all the time and I feel that Kornikova Capriati could be that sort of team Capriati to serve second set same strategy serving and staying back Capriati, I mean, from, she, she volleys pretty well, doesn't yeah. she, at least? I mean, I'm just surprised. I mean, this is not someone who doesn't know how to volley. And uh, I wouldn't be afraid to serve and volley against Martina. Well, the one thing you're doing is taking the net away from Martina anyway, so uh, it's got to be a good play. No. Too many times Capriati throwing that ball toss behind her when she hits a second serve. If you actually see where she ends up when she hits a lot of doubles, she's actually going backwards rather than into the court. I don't know what you think, but this is thoughtless tennis at the moment. Capriati was going backwards after she hit that shot, at least. <laughs> I know you lost the first set, but uh, here now, first game, you're facing double break point. <laughs> well, you thought eventually from that point she might go head hunting. Well, it's good reflexes again there from Navratilova, but eventually the power just too much. One more break point. Well, they've won the last two points, Kornikova and Capriati, but look at the pressure they're putting themselves under by playing the way they are. They're having to come up with great shots all the time. Now, Retilova, well, she can just play the way she wants to. You've got to somehow try and negate your opponent's strengths. Break point number three. Number three is the charm. They win the first set 7-5. Now Navratilova and Sanchez Vicario lead one love second set. And uh, they lead one love, but uh, you just got to say that Capriati Kornikova not doing what they need to do out there. You're right, not not thinking. Well, I think perhaps the answer is they actually don't know. I don't think Capriati understands how to play doubles particularly well. And uh, you look that last point, she did come in and then she stayed on the service line. She didn't close down the net at all. So by the time she hit the next shot, it was actually very difficult to, to hit it from where she was. I mean, Navratilova and Sanchez Vicario are creating so many opportunity. They've had 12 break points compared to Kornikova's and Capriati's two. And you look, you've got two teams. You've got one team playing as a team, and the other team, these two have never played together, and it definitely shows. don't have the benefit of replay but after the first volley from Sanchez Vicario I mean I just can't believe Kornikova let that bounce I mean she's at the net that's her job is to hit that ball on the volley and look for it she actually went backwards to have to hit it 
We're now 47 minutes into this match, and Martina Navratilova playing better and better as the match goes on. She's getting more used to the pace and uh, feeling very comfortable out here now. Actually, interestingly, this would be Martina's first ever match inside the Arthur Ashe Stadium because, of course, the stadium uh, was built uh, once she had retired. Now, I'm not sure she's feeling uh, too, too overawed by the occasion, though. And again, good hands kept, kept them in the rally, but eventually Kornikova dragged out the error. Well played from Navratilova. She's still got enough strength in those arms. But the toughest shot in the game, the backhand smash. And just got enough on it to get it over Kornikova's outstretched racket. Nothing spectacular off the racket of Arantxa Sanchez, Arantxa Sanchez Vicario, but it's always solid, and it's good enough right now. And that solidifies the break as they go up to love. And now they've got another shot at Kornikova serve, which they've had a lot of success of in this match so far. easy pickings I mean <laughs> that search just sitting there nothing you're gonna do and mark they can't even do Australian you can't do eye formation because there's nothing on the serve well that's the problem that they have I mean I think actually Kornikova is gonna be better off staying back for a couple of games just to try and change things up make the other team think about things Well, the one positive, at least she got, she got in front of the service line and wasn't trying to volley from behind it. Well, I think it's a big positive. I mean, she can do that more. She wouldn't actually be in so much trouble if she was a little bit more positive with her movement to the net after the second serve. She can get there to hit it on the volley. Although she had a tough return down at her feet, it was on the volley. Managed to dig it up. Kornikova broken three times the first set. This would be her first hold of the match. Not yet. I'm not quite sure why Kornikova can't serve a little bit harder. You can see there in the background, 83 miles an hour. She looks to me like she has a good throwing action. She just doesn't accelerate the racket head at the ball. That's where the pace comes from. It's all a little bit too one pace for me, a little too careful. Yes. Well, that serve halfway up, halfway between the net and the service line. That's not going to cut it. Martina just gave her plenty of time back to deuce. Sanchez Vicario doing well off that serve. It was swung wide, but she knows it's going there, so she was cheating over there. And good depth on the defensive lob. Break point for a three-love lead. Yeah. 
And after being up 40-15, Kornikova cannot hold on. Navratilova, Sanchez, Vicario go up three games to love and only three games away from taking this match. And you can't see any other result but them winning. Navratilova, Sanchez, Vicario up. It's set in three love and got to ask you, Mark Petschy, is do you think these guys can get back into it? Can, can Kornikova and Capriani figure out a way or <laughs> too far gone? Well, if Navratilova and Sanchez Vicario communicate like that, <laughs> I think they have a great shot. Yeah, no problem at all. I think they should have mobile phones on the court for the two players. I think it's going to be tough, I have to say. A, a double break. This is a key game right here. Four love, the match is pretty much over. And they do have an opportunity. Martina not well, actually I thought she was gonna talk to Arancha. I'm fine. <laughs> Letting everybody know, hey, I'm okay. Forgot my glasses. Something's wrong here. She knew there was a reason why she lost those first two points. <laughs> and she knew what was going to happen when she got those glasses as well. <laughs> well, you know, when you get a little bit older, you, you, you uh, kind of start just forgetting a, things. She's yeah, just yeah. having a senior moment. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> no doubt. And I remember when Martina first got those glasses and um, everyone was saying, contacts, <laughs> you got to wear contacts. And she said, nope, I play better, I see better with the glasses. And that's how it's remained. I have to say, that was a lot closer than Sanchez Vicario expected to put it, and a pretty tough line for the umpire to overrule <laughs> on, but probably a good call. Sounded to Jenkin, and uh, you rarely see Sanchez Vicario playing casual tennis. And now Navratilova, the glass is back on, three points in a row, 40-30. It's just smarter tennis from Sanchez Vicario and Navratilova. You watch that last point, every ball going down the middle of the court. They're not giving their younger opponents any angles to work with, and therefore they're able to cover the ball in the middle of the court, even though it's got power. I think this is the reason why she's come back to play. She's enjoying herself out here this evening. That's what it's all about. She's enjoying herself, but also she's looking across the net at all these opponents she's been playing, saying, hey, they're great players, but they don't know doubles the way I know doubles. Now, that wasn't the greatest shot, it has to be said, <laughs> that little drop shot, though. And uh, But again, look at the reactions from Navratilova, even to keep them in that point. You take a look at that draw. I know in the back of Martina Navratilova's mind is A, winning, but B, she knows she can get to the finals when she looks at this draw. They win this match, they play Anka Cuba and Barbara Shett. And if you're Martina Navratilova, you're looking at that draw saying, hey, I can beat them. The number two seeds, Julie Allard, De Kuji, and Aisugiyama, Martina Navratilova's still at 43, gonna be thinking, I can beat them. If I've got Arancha Sanchez on the other half of the court. I can beat these people. Well, those next opponents aren't gonna be quite as generous as Capriati and Kornikova are. But having said that, I agree with you, it's not the Williams sisters or Davenport, Marario, or people like that, Met Hingis Pierce. Okay. 
And there you have it. This thing just strolling right along. Navratilova Sanchez Vicario lead at five love. Well, you have to hand it to her. She's come out here and got, as you said, get better and better. I've got to ask you, Elise, what do you feel about the uh, U.S. decision to leave Lisa Raymond out of the team with the Williams sisters? I, mean, I just think, unfortunately for Lisa, she, in a sense, she was caught up in a numbers game. And um, obviously the number one ranked doubles player in the world. And you want your number one ranked doubles player in the world to have that opportunity. But the women players chose to only have four people on their on the Olymp on their teams. I mean, chose that, that they would only be allowed four players from any one country to play. The men's are allowed six. Six would have given a much uh, greater option. And um, sure, it was just yeah, a, wasn't unfortunate. It, it's unfortunate. For, yeah, from my my point, wasn't it just a little vague? That was the that was the whole problem with the with the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, from my point of view, if I, I'm from an outsider looking in, if you've got the Williams sisters winning the French and the U.S. and Wimbledon and things like that, well, you know, it's a, it, it's a pretty tough call one way or the other. Someone's gonna, as you said, there wasn't enough places on the team. Five love, serving for the match. We hope everybody at home is staying awake because coming up after this match, Tim Henman, Richard Krejcik, should be some great stuff out there. And Henman, a lot of people picking him to possibly be the one that can win this title. Forty-three, fifty-three, sixty-three doesn't matter. That's one shot Martina Navratilova will never miss. Her bread and butter. And again, another point just played at Sanchez Vicario and Navratilova's pace. It's exactly where they wanted to be the whole match, and they've been allowed to dictate from the net. Well, there you have it. After only an hour and two minutes, Arancha Sanchez Vicario, match point on her racket. And that's it. Martina Navratilova at 43 years of age. Quite a win. 7 5, 6 love. Stay tuned because coming up, it's Tim Henman and Richard Krejcik. Well, a great match for Sanchez Vicario and Navratilova, and that, without question, has given much more credibility to Navratilova's comeback to the women's tour in the doubles. She's beaten a couple of very credible players with Sanchez Vicario, and as you were saying, Elise, you know, she's showing signs that perhaps she can trouble the, the better players and pick up another Grand Slam title if the draw works out in her favor. But she played a great match tonight, and as you can hear, the crowd, well, they love her. They certainly do, and they're all hanging around. I hope you hang around, too, because Chris Bailey, Bill Threlfall coming in for Richard Krejcik and Tim Henman.